Masayang mag-aral ng esensya with Sir Alvin Good day learners! Welcome back to my class. For this video, we are going to talk about the occurrence of eclipses. For our most essential learning competency, you should be able to explain how solar and lunar eclipses occur using a model. Are you ready to learn? Let's go! The Earth is constantly moving around the Sun and the moon is constantly moving around the earth. When these three celestial objects align together, an astronomical phenomenon called eclipse occurs. An eclipse occurs when the sun, earth, and moon are positioned along a straight path and the shadow of either the moon or the earth is casted on the other. The straight or almost straight line formation of the sun, earth, and moon is called CCG. During an eclipse, an object in space blocks another object from view. For example, when the moon comes between the sun and the earth, the moon blocks the sun. Hence, the people on earth will not see the sun for a period of time. As you can see, the moon also forms a shadow on the surface of the earth as it blocks the sun. A shadow is a dark figure or image that is formed when an object blocks a source of light. What can you observe on the shadow formed on the surface of the earth? Correct! It is not completely dark. It has a darker inner part and a gray outer part. The darker inner region of the shadow is called umbra, and the gray outer region is called the penumbra. In ancient times, the occurrence of eclipse is attributed to beliefs and superstitions. Some believe that the eclipses can cause bad luck and tragedies, and some believe that eclipses occur because the sun or moon is being swallowed by a large animal like the Bakunawa. However, these beliefs have no scientific basis. With the advancement of science and technology, we now understand how eclipse occurs. Eclipses do not happen frequently because the Earth, the Moon, and the Sun are not always aligned in a straight line. Eclipses only happen when the Moon aligns with the Earth and the Sun, specifically during New Moon or Full Moon. There are only about 3 solar eclipses and 3 lunar eclipses in a year. There are two types of eclipse, the solar eclipse and the lunar eclipse. Let us first talk about solar eclipse. Solar eclipse occurs during New Moon and takes place during the day. It happens when the moon passes between the earth and the sun. In this case, the moon blocks the light coming from the sun, and the shadow of the moon is casted on the surface of the earth. A solar eclipse can last only for about 7.5 minutes. Not everyone has a chance to observe eclipses. Your location on the shadow of the moon casted on the earth will determine the type of solar eclipse that you will observe. There are three types of solar eclipse. Total solar eclipse, partial solar eclipse, and annular solar eclipse. If your place is located on the umbra of the moon's shadow, you will observe the total solar eclipse. It is characterized by total darkness. The sun will disappear from your view and the surroundings will appear like an early evening. In this case, the moon covers the majority of the sun. The only light seen surrounding the total solar eclipse is called the corona. Corona is the outermost part of the atmosphere of the sun. On the other hand, if your place is located on the penumbra of the moon's shadow, 
you will experience partial solar eclipse. This occurs when the sun and the moon are not exactly in line. The moon only partially covers the sun. The moon only covers a part of the sun's light. An annular solar eclipse happens when the moon is farthest from Earth. This creates another form of shadow called Antumbra. Antumbra exists if the light source has a larger diameter than the opaque object. If the observer is on the Antumbra, he will observe an annular solar eclipse. Because the moon is farther away from the earth, it seems smaller and does not block the entire view of the sun. In this case, the sun seems to be a very bright ring surrounding the dark disk of moon called the annulus. Indeed, solar eclipse is one of the spectacular phenomena that you can observe in the sky. However, you should always remember looking directly at the sun during solar eclipse is not a safe practice because it can cause retinal burn which can lead to permanent blindness. It is not safe to look at the sun with your naked eye or even with the use of sunglasses, binoculars, or telescopes. One of the safe ways of observing solar eclipse is to view it indirectly using some forms of projection by using a mirror or pinhole projector. Now, let's talk about lunar eclipse. Lunar eclipse happens when the Earth is positioned between the Sun and the Moon. The Earth blocks the light coming from the Sun to the Moon. In this case, the Earth's shadow falls on the Moon. A lunar eclipse happens during full Moon and can be observed during nighttime. Unlike solar eclipse, which can last for a few minutes, Lunar eclipse can last for a few hours. Moreover, unlike solar eclipse where it can only be observed in a relatively small area of Earth, lunar eclipse is visible anywhere on the night side of the Earth. The type of lunar eclipse that can be observed depends on the position of the moon on the shadow of the Earth. The three types of lunar eclipse are total lunar eclipse, penumbra lunar eclipse, and partial lunar eclipse. When the moon is located within the umbra of the Earth's shadow, a total lunar eclipse occurs. It happens when the moon and the sun are on the exact opposite sides of the Earth. In this case, the moon will look totally dark. Although the Earth blocks the light coming from the sun, some sunlight still reaches the moon. During the total lunar eclipse, the moon can turn into a reddish color. This happens when the light coming from the sun enters the Earth's atmosphere. The blue light and other colors are filtered out and only the red color enters the atmosphere and refracted to the moon. When the moon is positioned on the penumbra of the Earth's shadow, a penumbra lunar eclipse occurs. This type of eclipse is quite hard to spot unlike a total lunar eclipse. Keen observers will see a dark shadowing of the moon's face during a penumbra lunar eclipse. On the other hand, when part of the moon is located on the penumbra and another part is located on the umbra of the Earth's shadow, a partial lunar eclipse occurs. In partial lunar eclipse, only a part of the Earth's shadow covers the moon. In this case, only a part of the moon appears to be dark while the rest will be lighter. Unlike a solar eclipse, a lunar eclipse can be observed directly using your naked eye. Knowing about eclipses is very important. Using our knowledge about eclipses, we can explain how and why these phenomena occur. We can correct some misconceptions and superstitions about eclipses. 
by observing the Earth's shadow during an eclipse, people from the past discovered the Earth is round. Scientists study eclipses to understand the Earth, the Moon, and the Sun.